everybody, Moo here, photographer of Dumbo, has finally decided to grace us with his presence. And of course, we have to do his SL6 gameplay video 5 to 4 and coin booster are enabled as always. And for this video, we're kind of going back a little bit to our roots where we kind of do 300 mites and cleared or as close as we can get to that number. And then we can compare in contrast with other blaster type Tsum because essentially, even though their animations look different, the result, mathematically speaking, is the same. It doesn't matter if you blast the screen horizontally horizontally, vertically, in a zigzag shape. It doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is the number of mites you're clearing and the number of mites you need to charge up the skill. That's why this kind of metric is not exact, but it's not far off for comparison purposes as far as the blaster type Tsum Tsum are concerned. And Dumbo, unfortunately, is a strict horizontal clear. Oh, that was the little uh, disappointment that I found out about him once I started playing him. I was under the impression under the whole time, as you may have uh, heard in the leaks video, uh, that you get to decide and tap when he takes the snapshot. That is unfortunately not the case. The little frame that hovers around the screen all always ends up taking the snapshot in the middle of the screen. You don't have to tap, you don't have to do anything. And I would have really liked if that was not the case because it doesn't really make him harder to play. It doesn't break the game. You don't get a tremendous amount of more coin or score if that could be possible. All that happens is it rewards players that are paying attention to what's happening on screen. So for example, if you have a bunch of gaps at the bottom of the screen because you just popped a whole bunch of magic bubbles or Tsum Tsum are repopulating the playing area from above, well, you kind of wait for that frame to go to where there are Tsum Tsum, then you tap the screen, then you clear the board. But unfortunately, he always clears right in the middle and what does that mean? Well, it just means you have to be very patient and play a little bit slower and allow the Tsum Tsum to fall back and populate the playing area so that when you do hit with his ability, it hits for the maximum number that is possible. Now, the most I've hit for without any large Tsum Tsum on screen was 34. And that was when the Tsum were perfectly aligned. Uh, the Tsum in the game just kind of meshed well together. And apparently I may have even prayed to the alignment gods because that's what is required to get a 34. Uh, generally, you will get 32s. That's kind of the average number. Uh, if you have a magic bubble or a small gap or something, then you're going to drop below 30s. You're going to be hitting between 27 to 29, again, depending on how you stack and everything. So uh, for that reason, I thought Dumbo was not going to be the greatest, but he surprised me because essentially the, the results were a lot higher than I thought they would be. Uh, we got about 4.7 base coin, 4.7K base coin if we got four. 0.7 base coin that would be literally the worst sum sum in the game so uh much better than i thought i thought he was going to be around the 3.8k to 4k uh range but 4.7k is where he is at and of course if you add the bubble booster and the time booster each of those respectively can add 1 to 1.5k additional coin to the base coin amount. So he can get pretty high up there, but then of course you have to be realistic and subtract the cost of those boosters from your earnings, at which point it's no longer really worth it. So just stick with the five to four in the coin booster and pray for that fairy, as I mentioned near the end of the video as well, because that's gonna make it all that much sweeter. So photographer Dumbo, very cool. I love the skill. As you guys know, as I said in the leaks, I also am a huge fan of photography. So, you know, it's cute. He does well, he's above average. Results are also above average, which is a surprisingly good thing because, again, I was expecting him to do much worse. Uh, so all in all, pretty good Tsum Tsum. Definitely Netflix friendly because, again, there's no skill requirement to his ability. You don't have to tap or anything. It just happens. Uh, so not bad. Not bad. Dumbo. Pretty good in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think about him or if you have any further questions, comments, anything like that, leave it all in the comment section below. And as always, thank you so much for your likes, your subs, and your viewership. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.
We have a lot of Dumbles on screen, so even though Fever Time is about to expire, I think I will use the skill. Nice. Look at that huge gap, dude. Fortunately, there's that large uh, pumpkin to make up for it. That such bull! Bull. That's it. Just bull. Nothing else. No salt today. No salt. For now. For now. No guarantees for later. Just wait for them to fall back down a little bit. That split second so we can actually hit for enough to get back into fever time. Fortunately, there's a bubble in the way, so we're probably only heading for 27, 29. Okay, much. I'll take that. I'll take that for sure. Use that bubble because it wouldn't hit any of the Dumbos, so we wouldn't lose any of the Mitesum. We're just building up Mitesum on screen so that we can use two skills back to back essentially. And also get back into Fever Time. We will just pop that there. Also get back into Fever Time right away. I don't think we have enough time to get back into fever time here. Yeah, no, we don't. Huh. What do we end up with here? 4.7k base coin. That's actually a lot better than I thought he was going to do. For uh, 300 mites I'm cleared, that's kind of back to our roots. We generally try to get around 300 mites for the booster type. Tsum or blaster type Tsum Tsum because it's kind of easy to compare them since they do the same kind of thing, just different animations. Uh, almost 9 million score after my level multiplier is attached onto that since I am only using the 5 to 4 in the coin booster. Uh, so we're not getting any additional score. That's actually also not bad. Definitely higher than I expected. All right, so we actually got a little bit shafted on the coin booster. We only ended up with 5.2 coin with the booster so that's literally the worst multiplier we could have gotten uh but overall not bad you know nine million score just gonna round up a little bit there uh you know almost five thousand base coin with just a five to four that is pretty good again much higher than i expected especially considering that generally speaking when you add the bubble booster and the time booster each one of those boosters will give you between one to 1.5k additional coin, depending on which Tsum Tsum you're using. And for some, it makes an even bigger difference, like Jedi Luke. For example, if you use the time booster for Jedi Luke, you're going to get like at least two to 3,000 base coin more, just because of the, the pyramid of extra time that you initiate by getting those five extra seconds at the start of the game. But I'm not gonna get into all that now. Uh, what can I say about Dumbo? Super cute skill. Just like I said in the intro, nothing special about him. Uh, he is just a strict horizontal clear, but he charges pretty quick. Uh, pretty smooth gameplay, makes the bubbles. It would be nice if he could hit bubbles with his ability as well, but you know, we can't ask for the moon with line, apparently. Because you know, that would break the game if he could hit the bubbles. Whatever. No salt in this video, <laughs> all right? Anyways, Dumbo pretty good. I like him a lot. I like photography. I like Dumbo, who also is a photographer. That's gonna do it for me. You guys have a good one. Peace out. Catch you next time.